Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. How are you? Uh, I think you all are good. So today I'm here to uh, show you something that uh, I have uh, created a few days ago. So today I'm I am going to show you uh, input validation using a sample registration form. So uh, let me do that. Okay. Well, basically, basically I use basically I use uh, uh, PHP, JavaScript, and HTML to build this. Okay, here is my uh, HTML and JavaScript code for the input validation form. Okay, uh, here is the uh, Bootstrap. Okay, here is the HTML codes, and here is the validation form validation of JavaScript which we called client side validation and here is my php code uh, for uh, insert uh, data into database and for uh, server side validation I have, I, I have also done that server side validation in the php code okay i'm going to show you okay at first i uh, let's check the database okay i use samp mysql server what's i called Okay, my Apache and my skills is starting. Hmm. Okay, here is my database, PHP my admin. Um, my database name is user, you can see that. And the table name is person. Okay. So in my person table, I have username, email, mobile, and password. Okay. So you can see that, that uh, let me refresh this. Yeah, there is no data you can see that there is no data in the database in the table so now i'm going to run my project and i'll show you what kind of validation i did in my code okay let me show you local it's zero okay uh let me tell you my project in is in secure folder the folder name is secure and the file name is registration.php let me okay here is my registration form now i am going to show you how i did my validation what kind of validation i did first let uh, first of all check that uh, if uh, i didn't i do not uh, field all of the uh, fill all of this field what kind of uh, validation it gives uh, me okay submit uh, you can see that the uh, uh, warning is the please fill the username field okay so every time if you uh, leave uh, empty of uh, for empty all of those field then you can see the this warning will be issued that please fill the username field or please fill the email okay, okay. let me fill the username first r a f i n that's my name okay let me submit it you can see that the warning is here that please fill the email field okay so let me fill the email Rafin at the rate. Sorry, my apology. Okay, this is my email. So let me phone number once. Don't worry, I'll show you all of my validations. Okay. First of all, okay, I have to save the password. How oh, everything is okay. If I click on submit, then it will accept all. Okay, but I'm going to show you my validation. So let's do it. You, you, you all have seen this. That username, uh, uh, empty field validation. You, you all have seen this. Okay. 
uh, another validation for username is like uh, if you can only use characters in your username okay you don't you can't use uh, special characters or number only you have characters okay you have you have to input the characters <clears throat> then come to the email uh, email in email uh, if you don't give at the rate let let me see you okay invalid position that means at the rate there is no at the rate that uh, the warning is saying that there is no at the rate invalid and the warning is said at the rate invalid position because i have not input at the rate okay then uh, for dot com okay so dot com uh, it if you uh, dot and empty then it will not also accept it okay see invalid position dot invalid position because you have to enter something that you, uh, after dot okay so um, here is the email validation let's come to the mobile number so in our country mainly bangladesh we use uh, 11 digits of mobile number so i have entered 11 digits if you do not enter 11 digits like that here is your 11 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay 11 digits if i enter 10 digits okay let's see sorry mobile number must be 10 digits only so it's my fault i have not uh, edited okay i did this let's go to the skipped file okay 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 where is where is this okay here is 11 it's my fault i forgot Save. come to here uh i have to run it again or not okay i have to reload this page sorry Rafin email uh, mobile number coming. Sorry, password. Oh, oh. sorry, I didn't see that. So, uh, what I was telling, I was telling about mobile number validation. So, in mobile number, uh, in Bangladesh, we usually input 11 digits of uh, mobile number. So, if I input 10 digits of mobile number, so there will be error message, warning message. Mobile number must be 11 digits only. Okay, you can't, you can't, use, you can't input 11 uh, more than 11, or you can, uh, you can't input uh, like uh, 10 digits, 9 digits. You have to input 11 digits. Must 11 digits only. You can input 11 digits. Okay. So this was the uh, mobile number. Oh, okay. There is one more validation. That's it. That is, you cannot enter character. You can only enter. Alpha, you, uh, you can only enter number digits. I mean digits or number. Okay, <coughs> integer numbers. You can only input those. So mobile number. Then come to password. So password. Uh, yeah, you can't. You can. You have to fill the password and confirm password. If your password is wrong, uh, like uh, if you entered a password and the confirm password is not the same. Okay here i did that uh, my confirm pass uh, password and confirm password are all the same let's me let me do the difference thing okay what it say look okay i didn't mobile number 11 digits i didn't do that look password does not match the confirm password uh, why I uh, what I input in the password password field I didn't input in the confirm password so I have to I have to look out that the password and confirm password are same okay so you have to input the same password for those fields okay 
so everything is okay let me submit it something is wrong i think my password is not okay so let me try again okay so let me submit this and submit so you can see that successfully it successfully submit that uh, the page refreshed okay now i can enter into i'm enter into database my my SQL database here is my table person table let me refresh this okay <clears throat> here wow congratulations to me here is my username what i entered you can see Rafin Asifur Rahman Khan, 62.gmail.com email, my phone number, here's my phone number. So what about the password? I didn't enter it so uh, like uh, so long, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so what about it? Let me tell you, I use hashing. I use hashing in when I uh, input uh, my, let me see, when I input my password in this, okay, it was hashed, okay, but when i uh, send the data in the database okay when i send the data in the database uh, in server side from server side okay then uh, i used hashing let me see you here is this password here is this md5 md5 is the hashing uh, method you can call it method yeah, md5 is hashing method for php you can you can uh, uh, add this for in php to hashing your password so if you use this if you hash your password then your password will be encrypted okay here is the encrypted password so if uh, if a uh, uh, hacker you can say a hacker hack your server side or database then he uh, then uh, he'll he'll not able to understand this password Will understand the username email mobile number but he is not able to understand the password instantly okay he have to um uh, this is the encrypted okay he have to decrypt this password okay so this is the this was under the server side validation that i did it so that's uh, that was my input validation using registration form so tell me how if you like this in the tell me in comment okay thank you Thank you so much. Um.